up what's up today we're going to be talking about some alternative careers for your IT degree we'll be right back Okay, so today we're talking about what can you do with your IT degree outside of being a programmer. Now you do not have to be a programmer. You do not have to spend your entire life writing code. If you like to write code, that's fine. But if you want to do something else, I have got some other alternative careers for you to check out. Number one, quality assurance specialist. Now a quality assurance specialist is a person who doesn't actually write code, but they check to make sure that what the code is supposed to do is actually being done. So they're the testers. They're going in and they're testing, they're evaluating, they're making sure the quality of the product is maintained with every release, with every time you write new code, every time you have a new function. So that's what they do. And that does require coding and it's a very high paying job. Next up, we've got software sales. So if you're on the sales spectrum and you like to sell things, you have an IT degree, you can jump into selling the product, right? You can become the technical, you know, the knowledge resource that when you go there, you can do demos, you can help the sales team, or you can be even the salesperson that goes out there and help to sell software products. And that will be useful for your IT degree because you have the background to be able to speak to the stuff that's in the software. Implementation specialist. So implementation specialist is really a person who tries to fit two systems together or a process in a system or try to make sure that the system that the person has bought actually works. So, so normally companies buy a software but they have their systems already. They have their processes, they have all of their data somewhere else and now they've bought this new system and they need to make them talk. So the implementation specialist helps to get the data from one system into the data for another system and so that they are interconnected and that the software that the company bought can actually work and be useful for them. Next up, we have technical support. So the technical support person is the one who's actually going to help to support the software. They have to be very knowledgeable about the software. You can call them, they can help you walk through any problems that you have. I mean, you guys have dealt with technical support before, so you have an idea what they do, but that's a very technical field that you can use your IT degree for. Technical recruiter. So if you already are familiar with technical recruiting and how to get a job in the IT space, you can become a recruiter. You can be the one who's actually doing the pre-interviews to make sure that the person, the candidate is actually a good fit for the job. And you can check out my video on the pre-interview call so you can have some idea of how to prepare for that if you yourself are going for an interview or if you want to become a technical recruiter. Next, we have data analysts. So this is a very, very lucrative field right now. Everybody has data, big data is taking off and people want you to make sense of the data they have. They have all this data, how can you help me make sense of it? Now, part of that is there's a lot of AI technologies coming out and lots of companies want to make their software smarter. So they can use this, the knowledge from the data analyst or sometimes they call them the BI analyst to help them feed the information into their AI so that they can make better sense of the data that they have. So data analyst is one that is also a good career if you have an IT degree. My favorite, business analyst. So you know me, I'm a business analyst. I love the career. I blog about it, it's on my, my blog, carolise.com. Business analysts, they are the people who understand the business and they try to write requirements or user stories to translate the business needs to the developers so that they can go off and write the code to solve the problem. 
So the business analyst sits between the development team and the actual business to make sure that whatever is being developed is actually of use and is solving a business problem. You can use your IT degree for this, but you're not writing a line of code. You're just explaining what needs to be written by the developers. UX designer. So UX, of course, is your user experience, it's your UI screens, it's your front end. You don't have to actually develop the front end, but you can just design the front end. Of course, you have to have design you know, creativity, you have to have design um, abilities, you have to be probably good in Photoshop and other things, but you're not writing code. You're telling the front end designer what it should look like. Next career that you can use your IT degree for that's not programming is technical writer. So a technical writer is a person who writes all your manuals, they write all your release notes, they write up all the things that the users might need like your, um, your help files and things like that to make sure that the users understand where to find things and how to do things. So technical writer, you have to have a language or writing background as well. But if you have an IT degree, it would be a great way to transition into that because it's so technical as well. So we also have system administrator. So you can be the person who actually configures the system to make it work. So you're not writing code, but you have to understand what the code is doing in the background so you can configure the system in the right way so that the users can get the best benefits from it. Next up, we have a little bit further up the scale, we have project manager. So software project managers are in high demand because there's a lot of software projects going on all the time, right? But for this role, you kind of need some more experience to be able to get a job in this field. But once you've worked you know, your way up in either of the careers we talked about earlier, you can graduate into a project manager role, especially if you do a course of like a PMP or you get some certification in project management. But this is a technical role. It can be um, a management role, of course, but it's, you can use your IT degree for it without having to write any code. And the last one I have is product manager. So there's project management and there's product management. So product is your, you're responsible for the lifetime of this product. The project tends to have a start and an end date and the project is over, but with the product, the product is gonna continue for a very long time, right? And you're gonna manage all the aspects to do with that for the life of the product. So the product manager also is another higher up um, job it's not going to be something you're going to start off with but it's definitely something you can do with your IT degree or you can strive towards and you can be as technical as you want but you're not writing any code so those are the top careers that you can use your IT degree for without having to write code and of course if you go above the product manager you have CIO and all these C-level executives who are very technical as well but you know we're not leaving them out but that's kind of further down the line, right, for most of us. So here we go, guys. Here is a countdown of the best IT careers that do not require writing code. We hope this was helpful. And please like and subscribe. I need subscribers. Go subscribe. And if you like the video, click that like button. I will see you all next time.